Are the Odyssey Penrose still the best gaming headset? Are they still my main? Short, sweet, to the point? Yes. With some question marks. And why I say with some question marks is, well, just simply looking at the headset as I have it right here. I have wicked cushions on it. I have the gel ones, but you can put any with my mod. Go check out that video. I also have this headband on it up here, which gives you a little bit extra plushness there. On top of it, this stand is not just for show, so I can have it here for this video, I put these on the stand to kind of loosen up that clamping force, make them a little bit lighter. So right there, there's three things right out of the gate just looking at the headset that I put a question mark on. Yet I still say they're the best. And looking at the headset after I've done my mods right here, again with the Wicked Cushions, I mean, it, it was a tough little mod. You have to watch that video. The headband up here, again, for my bald head, it was a little bit tense up there. And that clamping force was a little bit tighter, but me using them for going on a year now, keeping them on that stand as well, they're really nice. And again, on that stand, it holds my position. But they got that full swivel, nice adjustment and everything. Everything. As far as build and the headset in the hand, it feels very premium. Now it is a little bit of a loftier of a headset as well, which kind of comes into play with the ear pads and then the headband as well. So if we slap these guys on the scale here, this is without the mic, by the way, we're getting 450 grams. So right there, questionable. Yes, easily. But... You know, let, let's keep talking about this and we'll touch in at the end. Now taking a look at features and functions on the Penrose, yes, the headset is wireless as you can see. Now one thing I wanna show you on this dongle here if we can get some focus, it says Xbox and PC. So this headset's gonna work on every single platform like we saw in the new Turtle Beach Max headsets, right? Flip it over to PC for every other platform. When you're on Xbox, just flip it over there and you are good to go. Now you get up to 15 hours of battery life with this headset, pending features, volume and all that, of course. I've never had an issue with battery. I'd plug my stuff in overnight. Now you get detachable microphone, included windscreen, and taking a look at the headset. We got a lot of controls back here. You got your volume, your mic, over here you have your 3.5 port, which you can run straight in the controller. You have your USB-C port, you have your microphone port, multifunction, which is gonna kind of cycle your source right there. Over here you can have your power button, which also is gonna be for Bluetooth and play and skipping and stuff like that. And then your mic mute button is actually up here, little clicky button. So, looking over the features and functions, it's packing a lot and it does a lot, right? Number one, being able to use it on every single platform, being able to use it 3.5 battery life, not the best, but I mean, none of us are really gaming for 15 hours straight, but it's kind of like, hey, you're gonna use this for two, three days and then you're gonna be charging it afterwards, right? There, so just don't forget to charge stuff and you're good to go. Now, the thing I wanna point out here that I like, I love this mic switch up there, because again, a lot of times we got our headsets on our head and you got all these controls back there, you're like, wait, is it muted? Is it not muted? Back here, you know, bam, it's right over there. You got up or down, a nice tactile click. You know if it's actually muted there. Now, side note, a couple things I don't like about the features and functions is number one, the Bluetooth usability, you pair it up over here with your power button, and then you cycle through with these. And to get them both playing simultaneously, you kinda gotta like cycle through for them all to pair up, if that makes sense. It's pretty confusing, cause again, it confused the heck out of me, you know what I mean? And again, it was just, not user friendly. I, I like on kind of like the Virtuoso XTs. You had your Bluetooth controls here, then you had your game controls up there. That was laid out absolutely perfect. This again, maybe nitpicky, but a little confusing. Other thing is the range of this headset. The range of this headset is horrible. Most headsets, I usually walk across my feet. I never measured, I probably should, but I walk across my house all the way to the back door of the fridge or something like that, you know, in the kitchen, and I'm usually fairly good, a little bit of breakup. This headset, I can walk just right out of my room here and it'll actually start breaking up and it goes disconnecting, connecting, disconnecting, connecting. It's all over the place. And again, that's just going right out of my room. So I was about to do the microphone test here. I was gonna plug it into my Mac just like I do with pretty much all of my microphone tests, plug and play, but it wasn't working. So I went over to my PC in the other room, my gaming platform, plugged in the mic, plugged in a dongle, see what was going on, but the mic wasn't working. I'm not too sure what's going on here. The mic was inserted, the mic was muted, it was set as my default device, everything else was disabled. I don't know what was going on. You all know I don't script my videos or anything. I go at these live, even with my mic test, right? I take them, plug them in while I'm in front of the camera and start talking here. And I don't know what the deal is, my microphone wasn't working. We got more check marks going for bad than good here, you know what I mean? And one last downfall as far as features here. Man, it sounds like I'm over here just bashing this headset, you know what I mean? I'm not, trust me. The software, 
of this headset. To get in there, you can dab with your EQs and everything. It is some confusing software, uh, not very user friendly and everything. But again, kind of the good side about it is don't mess with the software. The sound that we're about to talk about here is amazing out of the box of this headset. You don't really gotta dabble with the headset at all or with the software there. You can if you wanna play around with it and all that, but again, the stock sound is absolutely phenomenal here. Yikes, man, I don't, I don't even know if I have any ground to stand with this headset anymore, you know? Let me talk about the sound. And holy moly, the sound on the AudiZ Penrose are absolutely mind-blowing. They are amazing for a gaming headset. That is wireless. The sound of these are detailed, punchy, immersive, crisp, and clear. It does it all. Whether you're playing a story game, a competitive game, Halo, where footsteps are more towards bass, Rainbow Six, where your footsteps are more towards highs and the reloads and stuff like that, a story game on any platform, it is so crispy and detailed. Watching videos, listening to music, all sorts of genres, it does everything right. No joke, the sound on this headset is so, so good. Does that outweigh everything else that we just put an X on? But does that outweigh the other faults we came across there? And in my honest user experience here, my opinion, yes. Why? Why you say, because this is backwards. This is just doesn't make sense, right? Why do I say that? Well, again, it has all the features I want. Are they all implemented perfect? No, but I can learn how and adapt how to use them. This is, again, a wireless headset pack in all of this. Wireless headset. So I know what you guys are gonna fire back at. I know what a lot of people fire back. Go get a pair of headphones and amp and DAC and you're good to go. And yes, I do use my Odyssey LCD 2s quite frequently, which are like these with a little bit of a step up, but also three times as much as the price, you know what I mean? Now you can get headphones for a lot cheaper, but again, having this as a wireless headset with the features, again, it's just game changing. And I really hope, I mean, this headset's been out for a while. I hope Odyssey definitely kind of rehashes it, refreshes it, and brings it to life because they can seriously have the absolute best gaming headset on the market right now. I mean, it's so close right here, so close. I love this headset, I do, it's expensive. And yes, would I recommend it still? Yes, I would recommend it with caution, let's put it that way. My number one recommendation, yo, go get those wicked cushions. That's gonna be the game changer for you right there. So again, I recommend them with caution. I love it and I still main it.